Hello, my name is Don Runker. I'm a practicing structural engineer. I've been practicing structural engineering for 37 years. The last 26 years was especially in residential wood construction. We're located in Liberty Township, Ohio, just north of Cincinnati. And I'm here to introduce a new construction product that we have named Dextruck. Dextruck is a two-part structural steel bracket specifically designed to connect wood frame to exterior decks to exterior wall construct construction consisting of wood framing and brick veneer. The next part of this video is a demonstration of the typical deck struck bracket installation, followed by a description of the advantage of the bracket that make us confident that it is superior to any other product of its type on the market today. So these are the tools and materials required to install the deck struck bracket. Uh, the red is a right angle drill for drilling through the floor joist. Uh, the green drill is a conventional drill for drilling through the band board. Uh, then we have a variety of drill bits that we need. Uh, ratchet set. Uh, the single angle by itself is for the lateral deck attachment, which is new. Um, the channel portion of the bracket is the interior bracket. And the small beam portion is the exterior portion of the bracket. And then the balance is the hardware, the lag bolts and through bolts needed to bolt it all together. The uh, first step is to install the interior bracket. And step one is to place the bracket on the double top plate of the wall and adjust the bracket, uh, bracket legs to the desired house joist spacing. And then once that's done, you can mark the locations uh, to drill the holes in the band board. Followed by that you would remove the interior bracket and drill the one inch diameter holes that we just described through the band board. Then you would replace the channel and make sure it rests freely and, and evenly on top of the wall plate. Then you would drill five inch, inch diameter side holes through the side angles and into the joists. Then you would install 5 8 inch diameter through bolts through the side angles and the joists. And lastly, you would drill a half inch diameter pilot hole and install a 5 8 inch diameter lag bolt through the bottom channel into the wall top plate. So the next step in the process is the installation of the exterior bracket. And the first step is to fit the outer bracket to the inner bracket using the two threaded bolts that protrude through the sheathing. Then you would mark the two lower holes and remove the outer bracket. Then you would drill half inch diameter pilot holes through the two lower holes and refit the outer bracket to the inner bracket and install 5 8 inch diameter lag bolts in the bottom and nuts and washers on the top. And then just prior to installing the brick you can waterproof around the bracket and caulk or flash tape the top and sides but you would want to leave the bottom of the bracket open so that water or uh, humidity can weep out. Okay, The last thing we want to show you is the installation of the lateral uh, deck support angle. And this angle is to trimit, transmit the lateral loads from the joist, the deck to the joist, to the angle, to the, to the ledger board. And that's accomplished with uh, lag bolts, two lag bolts through the angle into the joist, and two lag bolts through the angle into the band board. And this will meet the lateral load requirement of the building code with four of these angles installed at each deck, evenly distributed. So the portion of video you just watched was for conventional sawn lumber joists, 2x10s and 2x12s. This mock-up is to show how the bracket would be mounted if you had engineered eye joists. And you can see that the bracket's adjustable to a variety of widths from 12 inches to 19.2 inches. The only thing that separates this or differentiates it from conventional lumber is the need to add this wood blocking in the webs of the TJIs um, to facilitate the bolting. Other than that, 
the balance of the installation is exactly the same. So now that you've seen the installation video, I'd like to go through some of the advantages of the bracket. Number one, it, it's speed of installation. Typical bracket is about five to 10 minutes to install per bracket. It can be installed with a single person. It's not relied, doesn't rely on two, two uh, workers to put it in. It is self-leveling in that the bracket, the inner bracket sits directly on the wall plate. So it guarantees that the deck will follow and be parallel with the floor line. It is less penetrations through the exterior skin, which minimizes the potential for water intrusion. It transfers the load directly to the wood framing without stressing the brick. It can be installed at any point along the process and is not dictated by when the brick mason can be on site. It can be customized for a variety of conditions, step down condition, flush condition, variety of uh, deck finish materials, tile, etc. It's adjustable and suitable for joist spacings of 12 inches, 16 inches, and 19.2 inches. So the last and most important advantage, obviously, is the superior load capacity. And this was determined and documented by two separate tests at the University of Kentucky and their structural engineering lab, both in the spring of 2018 and in spring of 2019. Each bracket is rated at 2,000 pounds of vertical load and 1,500 pounds of horizontal load applied simultaneously, which is in line with the requirements of the code. If you want more information about the testing or more information about the bracket, see our website at www.dextruck.com.